on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This must be my night. If you're ready, let's go for the million. Which of these U.S. presidents appeared on the television series Laugh In? Um, <laughs> I'd like to call my parents right now. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, and I really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> Because the U.S. president appeared on last in is Richard Nixon. That's my final answer. Well, what can I say except, Debbie, you're going to Paris, and this is the final answer heard all around the world. He's won a million dollars. Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to night 14 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And frankly, we are still recovering from all the excitement last night. If you missed it, boy, oh boy, John Carpenter, cool as a cucumber, went all the way to the $1 million question without using any lifelines. That's unheard of. And then he fooled all of us. He called his father on the phone a friend, as you just saw. And instead of asking him the question, he simply said, Hi, Dad, I really don't need your help. I'm just calling to tell you I'm going to win the million dollars. I mean, I didn't even have a chance to ask him, is that your final answer? That's unheard of, too. After the celebration, we had just time to find uh, one more contestant, get him seated in his seat, and uh, then the show was over. But he's back tonight. He is Stephen Fox from Tallahassee, Florida, and frankly, he is ready to win himself $1 million. Welcome to the show. Thank Stephen. you very much. Are you the least bit intimidated by what happened? Uh, it's a hard you? act to follow. Yeah, it sure is. I'm trying my best. How did you spend last night? Uh, actually, in a bar where John was buying all the drinks for everybody. <laughs> he popped, huh? He did. He set up an open bar for uh, all the contestants from last night's show, and uh, we had a wonderful time with Oh, him. that's nice. So we're all expecting uh, that and dinner from you, in case you should <laughs> <go> all <laughs> the way. I'll try and live I up to that. I understand you've got uh, a very special phone-a-friend on your list here. I do, I do. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell has been uh, complaining that uh, she wasn't anybody's phone-a-friend, so I thought I'd help her out, and, and I put her on my list uh, yeah. tonight. She's been a good friend, and she's very, very smart, so let's see if maybe if I you hope, need her I help. I hope I get to talk to her. Absolutely. Uh, Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're from Tallahassee. What do you do? Uh, I'm a radio producer at a public radio station there in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And you're also a musician. Yes, I play guitar for band. Didn't you audition for the Foo Fighters? I did. They, uh, they lost a guitar player recently. He left the band, and uh, I heard about that and sent out uh, some tapes and a resume. And yeah. they called and invited myself and 34 other people out to Los Angeles to audition. Uh, I didn't get the job, but I did get hooked on your show at the time. So oh, really? Well, that's good. I, I, I love the Foo Fighters. I remember when Perry Como sang with them. I love them. <laughs> They're terrific. All right, Stephen, you are just getting started, you know. You're 15 questions away from winning the $1 million. The rules are simple. The more questions you get right, uh, the more money you win. And uh, when you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave with at least that much money. You've got your three lifelines to help you, 50-50, where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and one wrong answer. You can ask the audience where we will take a poll of our studio audience, see how they feel about it. And you can phone a friend. Uh, our friends at AT&T will get anybody you like, including Rosie O'Donnell, <laughs> on the show if you need that help. All right, so are you ready, Stephen? I am. All right, then let's go. Let's get ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Here we go for $100, Stephen. Take a look at this. What term is generally used to describe a young bear? A chick, a cub, a bunny, a ditka. Hmm. I'm going to go with B, a cub. You got it. It's a cub. You won $100. $200. Which of the following is another name for Santa Claus? 
Aladdin, Jack Frost, Chris Pringle, Rumpelstiltskin. I think I'll uh, I'll take Chris Pringle. See. Absolutely right. It's Chris Pringle. Two hundred dollars. For three hundred dollars, here it comes. When referring to intelligence, what does the letter Q stand for in the abbreviation IQ? Is it quack, quirky, quotient, queasy? I'll go with C. C. Final answer? Final answer. He says C. He's right for $300. <laughs> All right, Stephen. Here comes the $500 question. Which of the following is both an exclamation and a way to mend socks? Alack. Darn. Criminy. Shoot. Hmm. I'll ask the audience. Excuse All right, mind. fine, sure. Audience, need a little help here on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. If you're ready, please vote now. So 81% say darn. That's pretty overwhelming. Yeah. I, I guess I'll go with the audience. So that will make your final answer B? B, darn. The audience says B, you say B, darn. Darn, you, you're right. Yeah, for $500. Very good. Stephen, you've won $500. You're going for $1,000. You've got two lifelines left. We're going to see how you do in just a moment. We'll be right back. Who wants to be a millionaire on ABC? Brought to you by AT&T One Rate 7 Cent Plan. One simple rate all day, every day. They came to Earth for help. You all have help. Maybe I should get some pants on. We are actors, not astronauts. This Christmas, blast off. The whole thing was just a misunderstanding. Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver. You can put an eye out with that. They're so cute. Galaxy. Quest. What is it? I don't know. Let's hit it with a rock. Rated PG. Start Saturday, December 25th, everywhere. Chris! Don't you know that this stuff is filled with backward messages? Eat pizza, stuff crust pizza backwards. Hail to the crash. See? Dude, you said that. No, oh, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, oh, I didn't. You did. Boo, 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 boo. Infinity. What? Crash is back at Pizza Hut. Now, when you buy a large stuffed crust pizza for $9.99, you get one of two free PlayStation demo discs for the hottest games like Crash Team Racing, Gran Turismo 2, and more. Pause. Unpause. Stuffed crust. Another one of the best pizzas under one roof. AT&T. Seven cents a minute. All day, every day. Take one of these. That'll be 25 cents. But it says here, it's a nickel. Not for a couple of hours. What? Well, see, sometimes it's a nickel, but right now, it's a quarter. It's like that long-distance nickel plan where they say it's a nickel. But sometimes they charge you 25. That's right. That's where we got the idea. Is that right? Seven cents a minute, all day, every day, even to Canada with our international plan. You know, there are some stores that sell candy for one low price all day long. And people like it? Oh, they love it. Call 1-800-41-RATE to enroll. Good financial decisions require expertise. Life needs flexibility. Success demands leadership. If there's something you want to achieve, the principal has one word of advice. Plan ahead, get ahead. The Principal Financial Group. What could be more magical than one night with Sabrina? What could be more passionate than one night with Corey? How about two nights? Yeah, 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 enough chick talk. Hey! This weekend, for the first time ever, Sabrina and Boy Meets World will be on Sunday night. You gotta hug me. You can catch all new episodes of Sabrina and Boy Meets World Sunday at 7, 6 central on ABC. Stephen Fox from Tallahassee, Florida, in the hot seat. Going for $1,000, and incidentally has a friend up there. How you doing? Good. Your name is Jennifer? That's right. She's your girlfriend? Yes. All right, so you've got $500. You're going for $1,000, an important level. 11 questions away from $1 million, Stephen. Here we go for $1,000. During what inning of a baseball game is it a tradition for the spectators to stand and stretch? Fifth. Six, seven, ninth. I'm going to go with C, seven. 
final answer? Yes, it is. Absolutely right. You won a thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Take a look. Peanuts character Snoopy is the spokes dog for which of the following insurance companies? Aetna, MetLife, Allstate, State Farm. I think he's on a blimp for MetLife. B. Confident? Pretty confident. Final answer? Yeah. He says MetLife? He's right for $2,000. Okay, for $4,000, Stephen, here it comes. Ophthalmology deals with disorders of what part of the body? Feet, nose, eyes, throat. I think the podiatrist deals with the feet. And uh, ophthalmology deals with eyes. And, uh, you know... Thousand dollars is okay, even if I get bumped down there. So I'll go with C, eyes. Final answer. Final answer. You're right, but four thousand dollars. <laughs> All right, you're figuring out things well here. Here it is for eight thousand dollars, Stephen. What type of automobile transported Michael J. Fox through time in Back to the Future? A DeLorean, Chevrolet, Buick, Jaguar. That's one of my brother's favorite series of movies. And uh, he's made me watch it quite a lot. It's uh, A, a DeLorean. Must be pretty sure of this, huh? Pretty sure. Final answer? Uh, he's going to be pretty upset if I miss it. So yeah, I'll go with A, DeLorean. No, he's not going to be upset. You're right. You won $8,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're seven questions away from $1 million to $16,000. Here it comes. Who wrote the novel The Great Gatsby? F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway, William Faulkner, Charles Dickens. My parents will be very proud that the education I got at Florida State has paid off my English degree. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote The Great Gatsby. All right. Final answer? Final answer. Yeah, he sure did. It was F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Great Gatsby, one of his great books. <laughs> You're sneaking up on that million dollars here. We're up to $32,000, six away from the million. Here it comes. From where did the Dalai Lama flee in 1959? Nepal, Tibet, Vietnam, India. There's been a lot of free Tibet concerts recently, a lot of benefits. And uh, one of my favorite bands, the Beastie Boys, has been very involved with it. So I'll go with B, Tibet. You like them better than the Foo Fighters? <laughs> The Beastie Boys never offered me a job. <laughs> so your final answer is? B, Tibet. B, Tibet. You're right, it's Tibet. <laughs> You're doing just fine. You're 132. You're going to 64,000. We're going to come right back and see how you do. Over the years, we tried to improve wheat thins. There were arugula mango wheat thins, sardine wheat thins, even wiener wheat thins. Then we thought, hey, let's just make them taste better. The new tastier, crunchier wheat thins. Well, it rained. State of emergency has washed away roads. For three straight days, it rained. And a series of storms coming. Then the levee broke. Four-foot wave washed through town, tore everything up. A whole lot of people lost everything. Everything they had. Another problem was we had all this water. But you couldn't drink a drop of it. That's when the truck from Miller rolled up. I see it and I'm thinking, beer? 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 But it was water. They stopped bottling beer. They stopped 
bottle of beer and bottled water for us instead. Miller, part of the Philip Morris family of companies, donated thousands of gallons of drinking water to disaster victims last year. For decades, Philip Morris has assisted communities in distress all around the world. Actually, I could have used a beer right then. <laughs> but that's another story. Working to make a difference. The people of Philip Morris. Now, a message for everyone who isn't a millionaire quite yet. Yeah. You can still get total internet service absolutely free. Hmm. Right here at FreeEye.net. FreeEye.net. Hmm. Total internet service absolutely free, huh. even if you're not a millionaire. Probably darn. Log on today and get free. Uh, what if I am a millionaire? It's free for you, too. Thanks. Don't mention it. Need a new look? Get the mouse. It doesn't just sand. It also scrubs, removes, and polishes. It's a whole new breed of tool. The mouse, built by Black & Decker. The tragedy leaves Dharma and Greg fighting for their lives. When Kenny cooks Thanksgiving dinner! Very well done! All new Dharma and Greg. Then, is it the turkey or is it the yams that makes Mike and Heather hit the sheets? Oh, who's your deputy, man? Spin City at a special time after Dharma and Greg. See you Thanksgiving Tuesday on ABC. ABC Wednesday. Drew's never been in more love. Oh. Or in more pain. Yeah. And something's making him sick. Oh. Kate thinks it's their relationship. Oh. Or is it the weirdest stomach flu you've ever seen? We got a talk. Then Norm's at his new time. What? 9.38, 30 Central. What? I said oh. 9.38, 30 Central. That's a good one. Norm, right after Drew. See you Wednesday on ABC. There it is. $32,000, Stephen. Take a look. You reach that level, you can't go home with less than $32,000. All right, we're going for $64,000. Can we have two million dollar winners in a row? We're going to find out. He's five questions away from winning one million dollars. Let's play. Jane Goodall became known for her work with what animal? Gorillas, lions, chimpanzees. Elephants. Gorillas. All right. Gorillas? Final answer? Definitely. Stephen, I'm sorry. That sounds like the right answer, but it's not. Chimpanzees. Jane Goodall was interested in chimpanzees. Diane Fossey was interested in gorillas. Uh -huh. But listen, you've won $32,000. How about a nice hand? Stephen Fox, there you go. Good luck to you, okay? Well, that was a tough one. I have to admit, I also thought the answer was gorillas. I mean, I wonder if Rosie O'Donnell knew it was chimpanzees. I'm sure she'll tell us on Monday. But right now, we've got 10 new contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. They are Lars Botnick, Miami, Florida. Bruce Switkin, North Massapequa, New York. Rick Rossiter, Toledo, Ohio. Eddie Sawinski, New Britain, Connecticut. John Walker, Silver Springs, Maryland. John Nelson, Worcester, Massachusetts. John Capolongo, Ron Kokomo, New York. Scott Meister, Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Mary Ann McDonald, Piscataway, New Jersey. And Matt Marcotte, New York City. All right, contestants, congratulations on getting here this far. Now we're going to find out which one of you will get a chance to play for $1 million. Here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who could put it in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Now, audience, we need your complete silence, please. Here comes the question. Put the following geometric shapes in order from the most sides to the fewest sides. Hexagon, decagon, octagon, pentagon. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most sides. Decagon, octagon, hexagon, pentagon. There it is. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right in the first fastest time. John Capalongo. John. Here you are, 
you've done. Congratulations. How you doing? Fine. You ready to go? Yeah. Come on, let's go for a million. All right. John Capalango from Ronkonkoma, New York. That's out on Long Island, right? That's right. Yeah. What do you do, John? I'm a sales auditor for a company in Melville. Uh, you're a single man? Yes. Okay. What will you do with the money if you win? Well, my sister got married recently, uh, my twin sister, and my brother's engaged, and uh, those are two people I'd really like to help out. And as far as education's concerned, um, I wanted to uh, set up some foundations for the, uh, or at least some prizes for the schools that I graduated from. Uh-huh. That's nice. That's good. All right, John. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, you know about the rules, don't you? Uh, the lifelines. You've got the three of them, 50-50. Ask the audience. Phone a friend. Rosie isn't waiting for your call, is she? Poor no. Rosie's waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, Sorry, so Rosie. then if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, Johnny, take a look at this one. For $100, Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as what? Paper, pork, snow, milk. Well, chocolate's out, so I'll say snow. Come again? I said chocolate's out, so I'll say snow. Okay. <laughs> snow it is. Absolutely right for $100. I can uh, see right now, John's going to be a challenge. <laughs> $200. According to the title of a popular 50s sitcom, who knows best? Father? Eisenhower? Elvis? Baby? Father. Absolutely right. You all know that. Father does know best. $300. What is the common name for the lumps of ice that fall during some spring and summer thunderstorms? Hail, snow cones, icicles, popsicles. Hail, hail. Hail it is. He's won $300. $500. What gas is most commonly used to inflate party balloons so that they rise? Radon, helium, argon, unleaded. Just like the ones at my sister's bridal shower. Helium, B. You're right, it's helium. You won $500. All right, here we go. Going for a thousand now, which of the following is a popular nickname for the Beatles? Fab Five, Ab Fab, Fab Four, Boogaloo. Well, the monkeys were the pre-Fab Four, so the Beatles were the Fab Four. C. Yeah, they were the Fab Four. You're right. You won a thousand dollars. John Capalongo, ten questions away from winning a million, going for two thousand. Check it out. On which ship did the first pilgrims successfully cross the Atlantic in 1620? Pinta, Old Ironside, Santa Maria, Mayflower. The Pilgrims crossed on the Mayflower. D. Final answer. Final answer. It was the Mayflower. You won $2,000. John doing very well here. Here it comes for 4000 What beverage is named after the football team at the University of Florida where it was developed? Mellow Yellow, Gatorade, Yoo-Hoo, Dr. Pepper. B, Gatorade. Gatorade. Confident? Very confident. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, they named it after the Gators. It's Gatorade, you won 4,000. So here it is. You've won $4,000. You're going for $8,000. You've got all three lifelines intact. We'll be right back and see how you do in just a moment.
With the AT&T One Rate 7 Cent Plan, calls are just 7 cents a minute all day, every day. What about Canada? What? Canada. Yeah, same thing. With the international plan, it's 7 cents a minute always. What about all the other countries in the world? Japan, Mexico, Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. All right. Every country has its own low rate. What about France? France. France. Same low rate as France. Great. I'm going to go call France. Which is right near France. Seven cents to Canada and great rates around the world. Call 1 800 41 rate to enroll. Where do some of America's most successful people get their start? Did somebody say McDonald's? and tables by living.com room designed online by sam and emma's parents introducing living.com home furnishings and design ideas to express your personal vision for the home living.com your home your design what color are your teeth arm and hammer advanced white toothpaste whitens your teeth with just one tube our whitening guide proves you can go from here to here arm and hammer whiter teeth one tube guaranteed we worry about them running around barefoot. Not eating their vegetables. Never wearing a sweater. But too much cold medicine, it never occurred to us. Till Tyler's last cold. We were giving him medicine for a fever he didn't even have. Now we use Triaminic. All medicines can have side effects, but with Triaminic, we choose the formula that's right for his symptoms. So there's no chance of side effects from unnecessary medicine. Triaminic lets you choose the right relief without the worry. Now there's new Soft Choose tablets that dissolve magically in an instant. Easy to give, easy to take Soft Choose. She knew he loved her, but he was never around. I can't just keep going on like this, waiting for you to fit me in. And she knew in her heart he could never change. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Until he spent Tuesdays with Maury. You made a big success, but you ran. Did you ever stop to think about what you're running from? Hank Azaria, Jack Lemon. How can you spare someone's feelings by denying them? In a story of love and second chances, Oprah Winfrey presents Tuesdays with Maury, Sunday, December 5th on ABC. Who Wants to Be a Billionaire will continue in a moment here on ABC. The 300 Secret. At Chrysler, the latest 300 is unveiled. The 300 philosophy has always been one of styling leadership. Presenting the newest 300. Chrysler 300M, the 253 horsepower descendant of the legendary leather series. See your Milwaukee and surrounding area Chrysler and Plymouth dealer today. There's a lot of stores out there saying they have the guaranteed low price, and American happens to be one of them. But we have something that makes our guaranteed low price very unique. American's exclusive patented price check system makes sure that you get everyone else's sale price at American every day. You see, we do all the shopping for you by entering our competitor's sale price into our price check system. So by having everyone's sale price, and Americans too, our guaranteed low price is the real thing. Americans, the low price, and so much more. Hey. This is for those ready to hit the road. Hit the road. This is for a tough world. Tough world. This is for those looking for a solid experience. This, this is excitement. Well built. This is for right now. Right now. Hit the road for Pontiac driving excitement and lease a grand MSD for as low as $219 a month for 36 months. Call for important details. This is for me. For me. For me. Hit the road for Pontiac driving excitement. This is for me. Residents trying to save the Blast Pavilion. The story at 10. John Capalongo from Ronkonkoma, New York City, at New York State, out on Long Island. And uh, John has been talking about his twin sister, who just got married three weeks ago. Big celebration after the wedding, right? Right. And you were called upon to entertain. Yes, I was. What did you do? By her request, I performed a song for her, and it was It Takes Two. What kind of a song is that? It's a rap song. <laughs> Let me get this. I know I'm a natural for it. <laughs> exactly going through my head. You, John Capalango, sang a little rap. 
Harry Como was unavailable. All right. <laughs> Could you do just two lines of this rap song, please? I want to rock right now. I'm Bob Bass and I came to get down. I'm not internationally known, but I'm known to rock the microphone because I get stupid. I mean outrageous. Stay away from me. It's just contagious because I'm a winner. No, not a loser. The DNMC is what I choose. The ladies love me. Girls adore me. I mean, even the ones who never saw me like the way that I ran at a show. The reason why, man, I don't Give know. Give this so man go. a million dollars. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you something. You meet John Capalong, go out on the street, for a million dollars you wouldn't know that this man is really a rap star. Mm -hmm. All right, Johnny. Very good. I like that song. You did it very well. Thank you. So far, you've won $4,000. We're going for 8,000. Eight questions away from a million. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, let's play some more. $8,000. Which of these actresses was not one of television's Charlie's Angels. Kate Jackson, Shelley Hack, Cheryl Teague, Cheryl Ladd. Fairly certain it's B. Fairly certain that it's B. You want to make that your final answer? B is my final answer. Sorry, not uh, Shelley Hacker, but Carol T. Darn it, anyway, you're back to $1,000, but you sing real good, <laughs> and, and I want to wish you the very best. John Capolongo, how about a nice day? Sorry, old buddy, too bad. You want 1000 though, okay? All right, good luck to you. Oh, gosh, you know... I like John. I'm sad about what happened, just as we were getting to know him and appreciate his music. Anyway, we've still got nine contestants, so audience complete silence now. Here comes the next fastest finger question. Put these musical acts in order, according to the number of members in each, starting with the fewest. Indigo Girls, Backstreet Boys, The Police, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the fewest. Indigo Girls, The Police, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, and The Backstreet Boys. Now, let's see who got it right and in the fastest time. And the winner is Matt Marcotte. Hey, Matt. Hello, hey. Nice to see you. Yeah. You're ready to play. I'm ready to play. Okay, come on, let's go. All right, Matt Marcotte in the hot seat right now. He's 22 years old. He's from New York City. As a matter of fact, he's studying law at NYU. Yes, I am. Good for you. <laughs> uh, how are things going? Not sure yet. Finals are coming up. A little stressful. But First year is tough, isn't it, yeah. in law school? Figure I'm getting some practice for the stress here. Uh-huh. You are. <laughs> and you're single? I am single. And you happen to love one of the uh, bands that we talked yes, about. Yes, I happen to. Um, one of my favorite bands is the Indigo Girls. Uh-huh. Good. So. Well, you don't sing any rap, do you? Unfortunately, I don't. Not that interesting. And Rosie isn't waiting for your call, is she? I, I do have a vacancy on my phone, a friend list, so I suppose I could use well, it. Well, it's a little late now, but anyway, <laughs> we're glad you're here, Matt. And you know the rules, you know about the lifeline, 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend. We got them all waiting for you. Ready to play? I'm ready to all play. All right, Reed. then let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> okay, Matt, for $100, here it comes. What ingredients are combined to make mocha? Sugar and spice, strawberries and cream, coffee and chocolate, pretzels and beer. My sister is a huge fan of the Starbucks mocha frappuccino, which is made out of coffee and chocolate. C, that's my final answer. <laughs> that's almost more than we wanted to know. <laughs> but if you say so, it's his final answer, and it's the right one. He's won $100.
$200. There it comes. If someone created your bust, which of the following would be included in the sculpture? Head, hands, toes, belly button. Well, bust is a sculpture of your head, so the answer is A. He's right, it's head. He's won $200. $300. What food did Goldilocks eat at the Three Bears' house? Cheese grits, ham and eggs, porridge, surf and turf. Well, maybe if you're in the South, it's cheese grits, but traditionally it is porridge, C. Yes, you had a bowl of porridge. You're right, Matt. You won $300. Here it comes for $500. What do you call a puppet controlled by string? Harvey? Marionette? Android, mannequin. When I was young, I used to see shows at my elementary school that were performed by puppets on strings. They were marionettes. And they're still marionettes. You're right, $500. For a thousand. In which of the following activities does the ripcord play a vital role? Body surfing, cycling, parachuting, bullfighting. I'm desperately afraid of heights, so pulling the ripcord is something I hope I never have to do because it's in parachuting. See? Yes, of course, the ripcord is in the parachute. You won a thousand dollars. How do you feel? A little calmer now. Feeling All right, better. good, good. You're at that one thousand dollar level. You can't leave here with less than that. Let's take a look at the two thousand dollar question. Who were Willy Wonka's helpers in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Oompa Loompas? Munchkins? Lemonheads? Gloops? Well, there's a famous song, and the Oompa Loompas come in and sing every time to warn the kids when they're doing wrong. And the answer is A, Oompa Loompas. Well, you're not pretty sure of that. Yes, I am. Final answer? It is my final answer, Regis. I love the way you say it. Oompa Loompas is the right answer. $2,000. All of these questions you studied at law school, right? Uh, well, we have a special curriculum at NYU, so we cover a lot of additional material. Good. <laughs> Here you go for $4,000. Look at this one. According to the classic commercial, what stomach reliever goes flop, flop, fizz, fizz? Pepto-Bismol. Tums. Role Alka Seltzer. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Alka Seltzer. D. <laughs> this guy's one of the greatest characters we ever had. I mean, he sings the song for you. So your answer is D. Final Alka answer. By Alka yes, Seltzer. It is my final answer. <laughs> and yes, he's right. And he's one more. Yes, sir. He's going for eight thousand dollars. He's eight questions away. We're gonna come right back and see how you do. What are you doing? Oh, just having tea and talking to a friend. Can I talk to him too? I don't think so. Told them all this to mama and the pop off next it. Toysmart.com. For a limited time, $10 off a purchase of $25 or more, plus free shipping. Uh, I know some French. Bonjour. Mom, we left five minutes ago. We are 345.6 miles from El Paso, Texas. Austin is north-northeast. It's turning south-southeast. Dry clean is 3.4 miles away. Buenos Aires. I am 45 feet above sea level. 47. Should have bought you a tie. You rely on Amazon.com for electronics and all sorts of gifts. They rely on Priority Mail to get it there fast and to save you money. At this pace, we would get there in 12 days. What's your e priority?
was a single mom having the worst day of her life until he came along and made it worse. My mom hates her mom. My dad hates her mom. Michelle Pfeiffer, George Clooney. Just want to know if you're wearing panties. Huh? The network television premiere. What would you do if I kissed you right now? One fine day. Next on the ABC Big Picture Show. A great movie every Saturday night. ABC puts on its Sunday best. First an all-new Snoops. Either you want to be here or not, but if you don't, get the hell out. Then, an all-new practice. Your ex-wife says she came out of the bathroom. This is what she found. You want to ask our son if he committed murder. It's an all-new Snoops, followed by an all-new practice. ABC Sunday, starting at 9, 8 central. Last night, he became a millionaire. So where's he going Monday morning? To Good Morning America. Is that his final answer? That's my final answer. See this million dollar smile Monday. All right, we've got Matt Marcotte here, 22 years old, first year law student at uh, NYU. Matter of fact, he's got some pals with you. My classmates are back behind me. How you uh, doing? How's <laughs> Matt doing? <laughs> Good. All right, Matt, so... Uh, <laughs> All right, Matt, you're doing real well here, but your, your dream job would be, uh, once you graduate and get into law, what would it be? Uh, being on the United States Supreme Court. Ah, no kidding. Going right for the top, huh? Well, I, I'll have to work my way up, but in the end, I'd love to work there. Wouldn't that be great? It would be great. And one day, Chief Justice Matt Marcotte could say, I say more oopa loopas. I could say that. I could also ask an attorney when I'm asking him questions if that's their final answer. That's mine. Lay off. <laughs> you want $4,000. You're going for $8,000. Eight questions away from a million. You got all your lifetime, uh, lifelines ready. Here it comes for $8,000. Let's play. <laughs> what river is Huck's escape route in the classic novel Adventures of Huckleberry Finn? The Thames? St. Lawrence? Mississippi? The Ganges? Well, I went to school in Memphis, Tennessee, which is right on the mighty Mississippi River, and my final answer is the Mississippi River C. You know that well, huh? Know that well. Final answer, Mississippi? It's the right answer. He's got an $8,000. Going for $16,000. Which of the following cartoon characters did Bill Cosby create? Fat Albert. Beavis, Bullwinkle, Hong Kong Fooey. I remember when I was a little kid, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids were on every morning, and Bill always did the introduction, and Bill Cosby created Fat Albert, A. I love your story. <laughs> Gotta try. Final answer. It is my final answer. Yeah, you better with Fat Albert. $16,000, we're going for 32. Here it comes. What country hosted and won the 1998 Men's Soccer World Cup? Brazil, France, United States, Germany. This is a tough one. Uh, I don't follow soccer that much. I know one that it's not. I'm pretty sure about two, the other two. So I'd like to ask the audience for some help on this one. All right, fine. Audience, Matt needs a little help here. You're ready on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Please vote now. Well, 56% uh, feel it was France, and uh, Brazil came in with 32%. Um, I'm not thinking it's France. So... I'd like to take my 50-50 as well. I feel like I'm wasting it, but... No problem, we can do that. Computer, would you take away two of the wrong answers for Matt, leaving just one wrong answer and the correct one, please. Now what do you think? Now I think it's France. There you go. France or Brazil, the computer said. My... This is tough. Because now think I... it through. The audience said France. The audience said France, and the audience is rarely ever wrong, but France isn't traditionally a soccer power nationally. This is a hard one for me. Sports was the one thing I was afraid of if I got in the hot seat. The 1998 Soccer World Cup. Right. B, France, is my final answer. 
God, I hope it's the right one. <laughs> and it is. It's Prince. You actually willed that to happen. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Here it is. This is what it looks like. $32,000 right there, Matt. All right? We're going for 64000 Here it comes. What is the official title of the ruler of Brunei? Is it chief, king, sultan, president? The sultan of Brunei is the world's wealthiest man. C is my final answer. And that's your final answer, like she said, that it, it is. is Sultan. He's right again. $64,000. He's going for $125,000. One lifeline left. We're going to come right back and see how he does. Don't go away now. seven-passenger enormously flexible odyssey from Honda. It's one big happy minivan. Over the years, we tried to improve Wheat Thin. There was the jiggly Wheat Thin. Beat Thin. Even the origami Wheat Thin. Then we thought, hey, let's just make them taste better. The new tastier, crunchier Wheat Thin. The holidays are a time for giving. Of course there's a Sammy. You think? And a time to treasure with those we love the most. This year, start a new family tradition. Merry Christmas, Dad. With an all-new movie, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Premiering today on video. Taco Bell introduces the Chalupa. Ooh. With a shell so crispy. Ay, ay, ay. So flaky. Oh. So chewy and tasty. Hurt me. You'll wonder why we put anything in them at all. Por favor, drop the chalupa. Get your hands on one now for just 99 cents. If you don't love it, we'll give you your money back. Only at Taco Bell. They're back. Four new chihuahuas are looking for love. Get yours now at Taco Bell. What if you could treat wrinkles like an expert would? With Rock, the number one anti-wrinkle cream in France, you can. Developed with dermatologists, Rock's pure and active form of vitamin A works deeper inside skin surface. In a 12-week study, the appearance of fine lines was reduced by 86%, wrinkles by 42%. Something more superficial beauty treatments could never promise. Rock. We keep our promises. Are you saying to yourself, hey, I could play this game? Then go to ABC.com and play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire online. Play anytime, 24 hours a day. Okay, here's Matt uh, Marcotte's story. He's doing quite well. And your gang up there at NYU is cheering you on. Andrew, how's he doing so far? What do you think? He's doing well. Yeah? I think he is, too. What would be your opinion right now, since one day you may be called upon to write out some legal opinions? What's your opinion of where you are right now? I think I'm doing okay, Regis. Uh, I hope I can do better with these next few questions. I, I hope I can. I'm glad to know I've got my phone a friend, because they're good people. All right, good. So let's, let's get started. Four away from one million. Let's play. For $125,000, which of these individuals is not a ballet dancer? Igor Stravinsky, Vaslav Dijinsky, Rudolf Duryev, Mikhail Baryshnikov. Well, my sister danced ballet for years and years and years. And to boot, I took a course in Russian and Eastern European music my final semester in college. So I know Igor Stravinsky is a composer, not a dancer. A is my final answer. He says it's his final answer. You're right, Igor is not a ballet dancer. He's won $125,000. <laughs> Matt, look at it. Your name's on it. $125,000 right there, pal. Okay? I'm okay. All right. Still got that one lifeline. If you miss here, you'll lose 93000 But here it comes for $250,000.
Which of the following colors is not the name of a sea? Red, white, coral, topaz. Well, this is a tough one. I know there's the Red Sea and the Coral Sea. I'm not sure about the other two. And given how high we are, I'm going to phone a friend. Who would you like to call? I'd like to call Steve. Who is Steve? Steve's an old friend from college who knows everything. <laughs> and right. Andrew will vouch for that. All right, fine. <laughs> Our friends at AT&T will get Steve on the line. We'll see if he does know everything. Hello? Steve? Regis? Yes. How are you? <laughs> we were just sitting around talking about you. Matt says you, you're the guy that knows everything. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Well, <laughs> let's hope uh, you know something. But in any event, he needs your help right now. You can't see it, but he's won $125,000. He's going for a quarter million. Whoa. He's going to come on the line, <laughs> read a question, four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. So the next voice you hear will be Matt. Matt, you've got 30 seconds. Start right now. Steve, which of the following colors is not the name of a sea? Red sea, white sea, coral sea, or topaz sea? Topaz. There's a coral sea right above Australia. The red sea, of course, is near Egypt, and the white sea is right above Russia. You're sure about the white sea, Steve? Yes. You are absolutely 100% sure? Yes, it's like right above Russia and Finland. I trust you, Steve. Matt, I love you. I want to cut of this money. I don't think there's any problem. <laughs> Too, too bad he's gone, but uh, let's throw him a couple of bucks, you know? I'll see what I can do. boy. I trust Steve enough to go with D as my final answer. Topaz, final answer for $250,000, my friend. And you're right, it's Topaz! Check it out, 250000 with your name on it. <laughs> well, this is great. Now you're two questions away from a million, but you've used up all of your lifeline. Going for a half million dollars here. Half million dollars. Here it comes. In the Edouard Manet painting, Le Déjeuner sur l'herbe, how many of the four picnickers are nude? One, two, three. Four. Unfortunately, I know the painting, I know Manet's work, but I just can't answer this question. I'm going to walk away. I was going to suggest you visualize this. Can't, can't get it? Okay. All right, good enough. Uh, just for the fun of it, because you've been such a great uh, contestant, shall we just say, what is your guess? One. You would have won a half million dollars. But as it is, you won $250,000, and that ain't bad. That'll do. How about a great That'll hand? Do. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank Matt. you. This way, baby. Oh, my gosh. He was great, wasn't he? One of my favorite contestants ever. I know you can't vote for the Supreme Court justices, but if you could, he'd get my vote. Anyway, if we move real fast here, we've got time for one more fastest finger uh, question. So here it comes. Put these science fiction TV series in the order of their premiere, from the earliest to the most recent. Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Voyage, Star Trek, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. Star Trek. Star Trek The Next Generation. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Star Trek Voyager. That's the correct order. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, John Nelson. Hey, John, come on over here. Congratulations, kid. You're a Star Trek fan, huh? Good enough. Come on, let's go. John Nelson from Worcester, Massachusetts in the chair. 
Uh, congratulations, your wife uh, Erica standing by up there. Hi, Erica. Hi. You know, we just have time to get a couple of questions in, John, and we'll okay, sure. continue the interview tomorrow night, but okay, let's sure. get started, all right? You know all the rules, you know about the lifeline, 50-50, phone a friend, ask the audience, it's all there waiting for you. So if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. For a hundred dollars, according to the 17th century saying, what should you not cry over? Fallen leaves, spilt milk, Drop candy, old bread. Didn't know the expression was that old, but I believe it's B, spilt milk. Spilt milk is right. You've got a hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. When water wears away a beach, what is that process called? Erosion, guilt, aggression, construction. Uh, I, I would go with A, erosion. Erosion is right. You won two hundred dollars. Very good. All right. Well, you know what that sound means. We're out of time for tonight, but John will be back here tomorrow night. And joining him will be ten new contestants who have flown in from all over the country. And they are Bob Ehrenberg, Jane Oviak, Angie Trakowski, Betsy Slakey, Kevin Cook, Lisa Haddock Heston, Paul Curran. Scott McGinnis, Peg McCormick, Jennifer Atkins. All right, once again, a lot of women. Stay tuned for one fine day here on ABC. See you back here tomorrow night at a new Sunday time for us, 8 o'clock, 7 Central, for a whole hour. From New York, everybody, good night. Next on the ABC Saturday Night Movie, Michelle Pfeiffer and George Clooney star in One Fine Day, next.